Yes, your pink is always a nice color. Oh, look what's blending in. Your hair. What are you working on, Sam? Um, wiring for the skyline. All the boring, tedious stuff right now. If everything arrives tomorrow, we should have this thing idling and running tomorrow. But uh, yeah, just all the wiring and tedious stuff right now. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is actually a really exciting day. It's new car day. New car day. So we just got rid of the crown and it's time for a new car. And I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail, it's a dream car. And I think we just need to bring it in and show you guys. It's actually a big deal for us. And I'm sure all of you guys are just as excited as I am. So let's go get it. So we've actually had this car for about three months or give or take. It's been the longest time. And we've been hiding it out the front of the shop under a car cover that entire time. People have visited for like the golden tickets and stuff, asked us what it is, we can't tell, we don't tell them, we tell them they're not allowed to take photos of it, all that kind of stuff. It's been so hard keeping it a secret. I've been wanting to just spill the beans on it for, for pretty much before we even got the car. Um, but it's something really, really special and I know you guys are gonna love it. Anyways, I'm gonna pull the cover off. May's gonna go inside and I'm just gonna drive it in and you guys are gonna get to see it for the first time. So obviously, got a little bit of explaining to do. We got a Nissan Stasia. I love these cars. You guys know I've been talking about getting a Stasia on the channel for the longest time. It's like the ultimate family car for those that like Skylines. But the best thing is, it has a 34 GDR front end. This thing looks incredible, super aggressive. I don't know why, but out of every car, even, I mean, don't get offended, 33.4, but the 34 looks incredible on a Stasia. It's like it was meant to be from the factory. I don't know why, but the body lines and everything just match up. Now, obviously, I'm really excited because today I get Stasia. Today it, I get closer to having a, another 34 Skyline. The chassis and everything like under the hood is pretty much the same as a GTT, just like what I had in Australia. So it's hitting me in the feels right now. But what's most special about this car is that I'm giving it away to one of you guys. I know what you guys are thinking, and yes, it's killing me that I'm giving away pretty much my dream daily family car. This thing is so cool, RB25, turbo, 34 front end, and it's a Stasio with tons of space in the back. The best thing is though, we'll get to in a little bit, but it's also driftable. We'll get into that in a little bit, and I'll show you some cool stuff about the car. But I have always wanted to do a giveaway from here in Japan. I just think it's such a cool concept that we've bought a car here in Japan. We're gonna build it. Obviously, I'm not just gonna ship this over to the winner as is, we're gonna put our flair on it, which is gonna be super cool, so keep an eye out for that content. But yeah, it's something I've always wanted to do and I'm super excited. The official launch date of the giveaway is today the 19th. Every dollar that you spend on semit.net will automatically get you entered for a chance to win this car. For more information, the official rules are on the website. Make sure you go check it out. Best of luck, everybody. We're bringing back a ton of designs on the website as well as a new Stasia one. So make sure you grab yourself something and I can't wait to see which one of you gets the Stasia. What do you think, May? Can you believe we're doing this? Oh, finally, right? We were We've been working on this for a long, long time. time. Yeah. Oh, man. How cool is this, right? And look at all the space in the back. So I think we're gonna have to get another one. And also there's a, there's a reason why we've been keeping the other Stasia shell here for a long time because a lot of parts from that are gonna end up ending up in this car. But yeah, full manual, turbo, RV25, pop the hood, pop the hood. We have to do some work on this car though. I'm definitely not happy with a few things about it. Point being that the um, bonnet latches here, safety pins or whatever, they're a little rusty. So we're gonna get those fixed just from being out in the weather. And the engine bay definitely needs a fresh coat of paint. When I picked up this car, the seller has had this thing resprayed in gunmetal gray, which I think looks incredible, but the engine bay definitely needs a lick of paint. What's really good though, is the struts are in really good condition. A Little bit of surface here and there kind of coming through and whatnot, but for the most part, really good for a car of this age. I'm actually really excited. And if you're looking at the engine, there's a few interesting things going on here. Let's get the hood latch up first. 
so the first thing is this is an RB25 DET, so turbo, but it's had the intake manifold modified and it has a front kind of, um, I guess, throttle body conversion, a forward facing throttle body conversion, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna go over everything in the engine bay here and we're probably, obviously, we're gonna paint the bay so the engine's coming out and we're gonna triple check over everything. There's a good chance that this engine may actually be an NA block and if that's the case, that's not gonna do. So we're gonna definitely end up probably putting a turbo block in if that's the case, but I haven't been able to investigate it yet. Um, so there's a few things that we definitely want to address. But for the most part, really good bones and this car is going to be perfect for anyone who wants a 34 GDR or a Skyline and a wagon. As well as just the fact is, is this thing is a rear wheel drive so it has a chassis front end suspension. You can put cut and shut knuckles on this and make it driftable which is mind blowing to me and super cool. So rear wheel drive, five speed manual, turbo RB25. It doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. And you can put the whole family in it or a whole group of friends, or just you and your girlfriend in the back with a mattress, and you can make your family. <laughs> Next clip is like, the backs are bouncing up and down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> One really cool thing that I wanna point out though is that these front fenders are all fiberglass for the conversion. So this is a proper fiberglass front end conversion. It's not like a cut and shut metal fender one. And that's why the body lines and everything match up so well. It is so hard to find these fenders. In fact, if you get the car, I would highly recommend you take these fenders off and get them molded because they're not made anymore and you'd probably make bank. <laughs> but yeah, really, really cool. It's got the original kit with the hood and everything that kind of goes as one piece. So this is a very sought after kit. It's got a HKS intercooler kit. Um, it's got like a SAD fuel pressure regulator and whatnot on there. But yeah, a few little like kind of, you know, nice little bits of Japanese fruit here and there. The interior is definitely a little bit interesting. It has a 180SX driver's seat currently. And then the rest of it seems to be the Stasia interior. There's a few like little panels missing here and there. But the best thing is, is all of this interior is getting replaced with what's in the other Stasia over there, which is super clean um, all wheel drive manual um, interior, which means we're gonna get the gauge cluster and everything there, which is gonna look sick. But everything else is great. Sunroofs are here, they work and everything, which is awesome. Overall, for a car this old, it's really clean. Ooh. Love that. That's cool. I haven't even had time to check in the glove boxes or search in the car yet, so hopefully we don't really find anything weird in here. So far though, it's all looking pretty, uh, pretty nice. Man, I love this logo here. That's so beautiful. The car's done 179,000 kilometers, which is about 111,000 miles. It's gonna, of course, come with the ETC card reader, so you'll have that Japanese female voice telling you there's no card <laughs> in it. But, uh, yeah, all in all, the car's super clean. I wanted to show you guys the sunroof's fully working, which is probably my favorite part. The front one too, of course. Awesome. It's got CR Kai's on it in bronze, which I think just kind of matches the gunmetal gray. I really like it. And uh, it's got some Continental tires on here that look pretty old, so we'll probably change those out to some freshies. But yeah, we definitely need to get the replacement Stagia stickers for here. And just a bunch of things on this car I think I wanna get tidied up and cleaned up. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy. This car I think is gonna be perfect for one of you guys. And I can't wait to start digging into it. The frog's back. Yeah. The Z pass Shaken first attempt. Thanks to, to Shaken Master Daiki. Shaken Master Daiki. <laughs> How much money did you hide under the under the car for him? So the guy was like looking under it with just all the cash in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Street wow. legal. Z's are so ridiculously loud that even with a silencer, they're too loud. This is what you have to do to pass Shaken. There we go. It passed shotgun with flying colors. Obviously we had to put some skinnier wheels on it and a few things. But what's really funny is we didn't take any of the GK Tech arms off because they're all black, they just think they're stock. So it has all the full GK Tech front end in there and rear end and it passed no problem at all. Super cool. What do you got there? Dorite. The Dene. Drift Tengoku magazine. The frog made it. We, we, we had an appearance in the magazine. 
Do you want to explain what this says here? It says, Butcher gave you pink smoke tires and you did a performance. Yeah. This Z32. That's actually a Z33. Isn't that kind of funny? They yeah. made that mistake. Yeah. Uh, Drift Goku. You plot on Yahoo Auctions for this Nismo bumper. Yeah. Um, it's NA, but it's really cool. The gallery enjoyed it. That's and cool. This says here, he's enjoying the Z too much. Hold on a minute. Isn't this car for your wife? No, 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 no. You skipped. You skipped. You skipped it. Come on, read the middle section. You can't do that. Oh, oh, oh. Foreigner living in Japan. Top subscriber YouTuber, drift YouTuber, Sam Lucas. Let's go. But what matters is, isn't this supposed to be your wife's? Yes. Isn't what don't you yeah, think well, the sunset? Yes. So, yeah, I mean, it's for you to learn, but you never drive it. So I got to drive it. This is going to be forever the funniest thing. But for real, the, the car is ready for whenever May needs it. That's why we just had a reshuck in. After a short amount of time, Daiki's already got the Z back to how it was height wise, which is pretty awesome. We added a little bit more height in the front just because looking over some of the drifting footage, the front's compressing a lot and we'd rather have it a little higher just so when we're hitting ripple strips and stuff, we don't take off the front bumper. Kind of more like Ebisu safe spec, but yeah. This thing is pretty much, it's come such a long way. It's just a really good seat time car and um, it's for everyone to kind of use to learn in. I do want to get a proper harness bar in here though. I don't like how the harness is connected at the moment. Um, but yeah, I don't really know if I can get one that kind of just bolts into the car as is without having to remove all the rear interior because this is driven on the street. Um, it's not like a car used for street drifting, but it's a street drift car so that we can just drive to events at the track and drive home. And the current way we have the, uh, uh, the harnesses done up is this little kit that I found on Yahoo Auctions, which is this little plate that bolts in here and gives you the two kind of like eyelets for it to connect to. But yeah, the biggest issue is that it comes up over the top of this and it just gets stuck here and stuff and it just is very uneven. So if I could get a harness bar across here and just put the harness on that, that would be much better and a lot safer too. But yeah, anyways, we'll see what we can figure out later on, but should be ready for whenever May's got time to start getting into driving. What we might do is start doing some lessons with her and I'll take her for like half days at Minami Chiba. So that's a way she still has time to like pick up Yugo from uh, daycare and stuff like that. But otherwise the Z's good and it's out for, you know, friends and all that kind of stuff to use as well. Like Daiki can use it if he needs to. Mal can use it if he needs to. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys don't know Mal, he drives in FDJ1 in the Good Ride Supra. The one that blew up in a massive flame shot out the back. Good times. I'm dead. He doesn't <laughs> understand any English. <laughs> and then a little update on this is pretty much I've been doing all the tedious little wiring stuff. I finally got all these done, so they're ready to plug in and everything for the triggers. That was really fun. And then I started laying all the wiring under the intake manifold and also got a harness and stuff for the injectors. So all of that can plug in now. And uh, this thing should be running and starting probably tomorrow, as long as the oil cooler kit arrives. Right, right now I have no oil cooler lines or fittings or anything for that. So we can't obviously start that with um, that left open on the block with no oil filter. So that would be bad. But yeah, otherwise, this thing's all coming together slowly but surely. Oh, also, um, all the fuel lines to the fuel rail are done. Look at this with a beautiful swivel connector here. Just looks so good. This, what I love about this is if the engine rocks or moves or anything, it doesn't put tension on the fuel line. It can actually move with it. And also it creates a ton of space here. So I don't have any issues plugging in my coupler to the VCT solenoid. And also we did another swivel join here on top of the filter. The only thing that would make this better is if this was pink, but obviously radium's color is green, so it's fine. It kind of looks really nice like that. Also, I noticed some comments in the comment section asking why I painted my manifold yellow. This is actually masking tape. And this is just to protect the manifold's finish from getting scratched or nicked and stuff like that while we're working around it and doing all the wiring and stuff. Once the car's running, that comes off. Just looking at the interior in the stage here, you can see there's these holes and stuff here from I guess what tweeters and speakers used to be in the car. Comparing it to this one, absolutely beautiful. All the trim pieces, everything are in this car. There's gonna probably be a lot that we're gonna swap over from this one. But yeah, everything is amazing condition. Oh my gosh, I just noticed how clean the roof is in this. 
Oh, the back roof section's falling down a bit, but that's probably just clips. But yeah, the interior is beautiful in this. The seats are great. They're obviously gonna go straight in the car so we don't have mixed match seats. And we can even take any interior pieces and stuff like that that are broken or whatever out of this. This probably even has the separator. Oh my gosh, it does. If you have a 34 Skyline or a Stasia, you know how rare this one divider piece is. That's crazy. And I'll probably keep that for myself because <laughs> I'm gonna need that one day <laughs> for my 34 if I ever get one. Oh man, I love this thing. It's still got all the coin things there. The little movable little divider thing. Love these. It's very cool. This car is definitely untouched. Oh, does it have a cup holder? Oh, it doesn't this one. Interesting. The other one does, but it's broken. I wonder if I could find that on Yahoo. But we also get the gauges, so we'll try to move those over too. Um, and maybe we'll just move the stock radio over to the other one too, just so it has something. I don't like the fact that there's just a big empty space there. The cluster too will be going because this is a real manual cluster and the cluster in the other one is an automatic. I will be including the old cluster in the car with it though, just so you have the original mileage one and stuff like that. Cause uh, I'm not sure how many are on this, but it's probably really low compared to the other one. Overall guys, I hope you're as excited as I am about the Stasia giveaway car. Um, ever since I got stuck in the USA for COVID and we did that Miata giveaway, I wanted to do another one, but in Japan. I didn't want to do just like a regular car giveaway. I wanted to do something where it's based here in Japan and we export the car out to the winner. And at that point, that was kind of when this project started and we started trying to find a company that could figure it all out for us. And eventually we did find the right company that figured it all out, found out that it was legal and it was something that we could do and put everything in motion for us. So that is why we are able to do this. And this is a little bit of a test um, right now. This giveaway is for the USA only. If you have any questions and want to make sure you're in one of the approved states, go check out the official rules on the website. Um, but this is more of like a test run first. If this goes well, then I'm going to start looking into doing it worldwide for you guys for the next one. It's something I'd like to do once or twice a year. I don't really want to go too crazy with it, but it's something that's going to benefit obviously and help us as a channel grow more. And obviously it's something that we can be interactive with you and give something to you guys that you're watching us build every day on the channel kind of thing. I think that's awesome. But yeah, I'm really excited. It's been a long time coming and something that we've been working so so hard on but yeah one of you guys are going to get this car it's going to be exported to you and uh you're going to receive it in the usa and it's going to come off the boat like i think that's just so cool anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video there's going to be a lot of stagia content coming soon and i want you guys to definitely help steer the build a little bit i don't want to go over the top crazy um i definitely think it needs to be more of like daily reliable but it still needs to be a skyline it still needs to have that like nice little kick of power and all that kind of stuff it needs to be reliable too because there's a good chance this will end up going to someone who wants to use it as a family car and i want to make sure it's reliable anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video smash the like button write the comment and subscribe go to semit.net every dollar you spend gets you entered for a chance to win the stasia and i'll see you all in the next one peace